Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Live VR. Today we will be learning how to do settings for Twinus VR. The focus of this video will be on USB tethering. I will not be doing any sort of head cracking as it diminishes the quality. It is not that much immersive compared to the amount of 3D depth with fake 3D enabled and set on ultra with low compression. Now the first thing that you have to do is Connect your smartphone to your PC. After connecting that, launch the Twinus VR client on your smartphone. Tap again. This time, click on settings and make sure that lens is off, performance is set to quality and buffering is set to on. Tap again on settings. Now, click on USB tap to activate. Enable USB tethering and take a step back. As you can see the Twiant has automatically started. Now do make sure that when you are prompted to allow other networks to be discovered, always choose yes as data will be sent between your PC and your smartphone. It will be streamed. So there are some services that will be blocked if you choose no. Now start the server. After starting the server, make sure that internet is disconnected on both your PC and smartphone because as you can see now the only network established between your PC and your mobile phone is of Trinus. If you have net available on your smartphone or your PC, it may be through Wi-Fi or it may be through Ethernet that internet will be used rather than your usb tether why because the ip protocol of that packet is bigger than the ip protocol the priority given to twinus therefore always disconnect your pc from wi-fi and your smartphone from wi-fi or ethernet if you have if you can not if you can but you must all right now set image scale to ultra set this slider on the most right as the more this slider is on the right the better will be the quality and the more this slider is the is to the left more it will be compressed and it will have more artifacts so set it on the most right set capture mode to game mode as it gives you the best streaming possible uncheck this uncheck this uncheck fast scaling and make sure that nvidia optimized is checked if you have a nvidia graphic card now the setting use moonlight is out of the scope of this video and if you want to learn about using moonlight the link for that video is in the description below. Set sensor mode to no sensor as we want better quality with no head tracking as since there is no nothing possible for you to move your head and move the cursor or the aim point at the same time. So it will be set to no sensor. Now launch the server. As you launch the server, you can see that there is nothing displayed on your screen. Now don't worry, don't panic. It is set to do so because you have set the profile on game mode. In game mode, it will only be shown, display will only be shown when you have actually started a game. As you can see now, I have launched a game and it is being displayed on Twinus VR now. It's not being displayed on my PC. Uh, let me move it. Now it's being displayed. Make sure that the scale of the game is 4 ratio 3 and to get the best ratio possible, to get the best resolution possible, you have to create a custom resolution. And uh, if you want to learn about custom resolution and I would recommend to do so, how to create it, the link for that video is in the description below and please watch it as it will give you better 3D depth and very much so better immersion. Now go to Twinus VR. Now what IPD is the distance between your eyes. As you can see the more I move this the more the images become far apart or far closer. Make sure they are not overlapping as there is a distance between both the lenses of your head mount. Head mount is the scale of the image depending upon what they have set it to. As you can see, 
gear vr option a gives me a smaller image i like to play on vr1 option c as well i have created a custom resolution and uh, i use the head mount vr box it is a chinese head box i bought it for less than a dollar i know quite a bang for a buck but believe me it is better to have a great head mount than having a cheap one as well for all intents and purposes it is a highly elite class google cardboard go to video make sure that dpi fix is on q frames not so much now what make sure the capture cursor is on as it will display your cursor if you don't have this enabled it will not sometimes it still won't display the cursor but don't worry about it in the game that cross here the point is is always being shown make sure that motion boost is on as it will give you better frames and fake 3d is enabled make sure it is always enabled and always check on centered zoom now what dpi fix will do is that image is being displayed on the center as required if you don't have dpi fix checked the image will be displayed on top left of your mobile screen so make sure it is on now let us do a demo go to home go to campaign going to choose this and that is it now while usb 3 has more voltage and is preferred to usb 2 don't worry about it i have finished the campaign of battlefield 1 on my vr box using usb v2 but make sure if your system has usb 3 port do make sure to connect it on the usb 3 port even if you have a usb 2 cable and your mobile has a usb 2 port don't worry about it as the performance cap will be on the smartphone side and not on your pc side now do enjoy the music as i'm showing you now if you click on the screen a virtual nose will be enabled i don't like this feature i hate it so i'm going to disable it my god now i'm gonna skip the video since i want to give you a demo now there's nothing wrong with the mobile's display it's just that i am recording the video through my nexus 6 and auto focus is flickering but as you can see from the pc the display is i want to say phenomenal but it's not phenomenal since i'm not playing it on full screen mode with my custom resolution on so do make sure how to make a custom resolution as i don't want to make this a very long video We sure do. As you can see, it is quite immersive. I have played the campaign, and believe me, there were some times that I actually, well, <laughs> I'm not going to use a colorful language on video, so. <laughs> Alright guys and that concludes our tutorial for this video. Do like and comment and subscribe if you like the video and if you have any issue whatsoever don't be afraid to not to comment we will help you do comment and give us your feedback. Now the virtual reality box that I recommend well the link for that head mount is in the description below guys and uh, the link for Twinus VR is also in the description in below if you want to buy it and do subscribe if you like the video